Before we begin, are you planning on taking the PL300 certification exam? Then check out Cert XP, a fun new way to prepare for that PL300 where you will get exposure to practice exam questions. Visit crag.work slash angelica40 and you'll save 40% on an annual on-demand learning subscription and get access to all of Cert XP features. Now, on to the video. All right, everyone, Angelica Chukwon here, trainer at Pragmatic Works. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the PL300 exam, that Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst Associate exam. And maybe you're here because you're considering taking the exam, but maybe you're not quite sure yet if you should take it. Maybe you're wondering, is it even worth it to take the exam? Well, today, I'm happy to tell you that I absolutely think it is worth it to take the exam. So first off, let's discuss what is the PL300. The PL300 is that certification exam from Microsoft that tests users, individuals on their proficiency in the Microsoft Power BI desktop, as well as the Power BI service. This is a comprehensive exam that's gonna cover all four stages of the Power BI report development life cycle. Now, is the PL300 exam worth it? Should I take the PL300 exam? Absolutely. If you wanna build a career as a data analyst, passing the PL300 exam can set your resume apart from the rest as passing the exam is just one way, one means of validating and proving your skills and knowledge of the magnificent reporting tool that is Power BI. Now, the research also suggests that certified users can help land a role with a higher salary than their non-certified counterparts. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of that here now. So on my screen, you can see I just have up Indeed and I searched for Power BI and remote roles. And wow, look, you can see here, there are quite a few listings, um, 517 jobs available. And look at this first one right here and that potential salary. So you can scroll through and see there are a bunch of different jobs here, a bunch of different roles that are suggesting they are looking for those who are proficient in Power BI, and certifying yourself is just one way to prove that you are, in fact, proficient. So what do you do? You've decided to take the exam. Now what? Well, you can go over to the Microsoft exam page for the PL300 Power BI Data Analyst Associate exam. And if you scroll down, you'll find an overview of the exam, what to expect as a candidate preparing for this certification exam, and what you should be able to do as a Power BI data analyst so that you understand this is what is expected and this is why you're being tested. Now, a little bit further down on the page, you can see an overview of the skills measured, and we'll dive into these a little bit deeper in just a moment, as well as a self-paced free learning course from Microsoft. Now, I highly recommend that you do take a look at this learning path because it is extremely helpful, but it might not be enough for someone just getting started on the exam. Now, of course, there is a practice assessment as well as some other material here, but you may be looking for more. Now, the study guide can be helpful as you can go to this page and see a list of the skills broken down by the functional groups here. Prepare the data, model the data, visualize the data, and deploy and maintain assets. And you can see the percentage of the content for that functional group, the total percentage that that will be covered on the exam and what you can expect. So you should go through this study guide and make sure you understand all of the topics, all of the skills, and that you are familiar with how you might be tested in the form of an exam question by these questions, by these skills on the exam. So you go and you decide to do the learning path, but maybe you feel this isn't enough and it might not be enough for someone just getting started. So what should you do? Well, that's where we can help. So at Pragmatic Works, we have over 44 courses on our on-demand learning platform that you can access with a paid subscription. So you can access that with a paid subscription and I'll drop my discount code in the description so you can get a special discount to our on-demand learning platform. But you can see here, we have a ton of courses, some shorter courses focusing on data modeling and specifically data modeling, data shaping, visualizations, DAX. 
We've got artificial intelligence in Power BI. We've got storytelling, incremental refresh, Power BI beginner, intermediate, and advanced, as well as a full comprehensive course to help prepare you for that PL300 exam. Now this exam preparation course here that I've created will cover all of the skills and the objectives listed on the study guide in detail. I run through each one of those skills and in each level, each module here, I provide you with an overview and an explanation of the skill, understanding that concept, as well as what that looks like possibly inside of the Power BI desktop or service. So you go through the entire course and then maybe you are thinking, what next? Are you ready for the exam? Well, one way to be sure you're ready for an exam is to take a practice exam and to take sample questions and go through practice questions. That's where our second offering can be helpful to you. And that is known as Cert XP. Cert XP is the newest offering on our on-demand learning platform, and you can access it with that paid subscription to our on-demand learning platform. Once you've logged in and you've gotten that subscription, you can go over here and click the Cert XP tab. So we can take a look here at some sample questions. And before we do, let's take a look at the overview of this here. So here is the overview of the Microsoft Power BI data analyst path to help prepare you for that PL300 exam. Let's go ahead and go down to this level here, level one, two, transform and load the data. We'll hit continue to dive in and take a look at some sample questions. Wow, let's see what we have here. So this first question here you can see um, says, what is a fact table in the star schema? Looking at this, when you look at the question and you go to answer, um, I wanna show you the experience and what it's like when you go through and answer a couple of these questions. So we look at this and say, what is a fact table in a star schema? Well, let's look at our options. The first option says a table that supports filtering and grouping. The second says a table that describes business entities. The third, a table that contains a unique list of descriptive da data. And the fourth says a table that stores numeric measures of observations and events. I'm gonna go ahead and select this answer and click submit. And wow, we got it right. So you'll get a congratulations if you got it right. And if you didn't, well, we'll take a look at that next. But you can see the answer here as well as an explanation. In addition to a textual explanation down here at the bottom, we also have these quick coach videos. So next question, what distinguishes the dimension table from a back table in a star schema? Well, I'm gonna select an incorrect answer in this one here so that we can see what happens when we get this correct, incorrect. So I'm gonna select dimension tables contain numeric measure column. Uh-oh, incorrect. So we still provide you the answer, the correct answer and an explanation and that quick coach video to help explain and help provide you with some further content to help with your understanding. Now, what's nice about getting a question wrong is that at the end of the Cert XP questions here on this level, this question will be presented to you again. So you have the chance to correctly answer it while you're going through that level to help redeem your score. So this will be presented as a redemption question to help with your knowledge. Now, when you get through an entire level, we won't go through one, you will see your progress, how you did, and you can see, you know, if you did it well enough to pass this level, or if you should maybe go back and review some more content. And that's where our on-demand learning platform and these different uh, levels that I have, the different modules and the videos can help explain some of that there for you. But let's go back to our Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst uh, journey here in Cert XP. And when you go through every level, you'll see we even have a final exam here for you to take. So you can simulate that experience and find out if you are in fact ready for that exam. We even have, if we go back to the journey selector, you'll see that in addition to the PL300 exam, we have more exam preparation journeys available. We have the PL300 Power, PL900, excuse me, Power Platform Fundamentals. We have the PL200 Power Platform Functional Consultant along with the PL300. We have the AZ900, the DP900, the CompTIA exam, the Azure AI Fundamentals, that AI900, and the newest, latest and greatest thing coming out of Microsoft, which is the Fabric exam DP600. So you can earn that Fabric Analytics Engineer Associate. And we are constantly looking to add more to this 
Cert XP platform for you to continue to develop your skills and earn more certifications with the help of our gamified experience. If you haven't already, go ahead to our YouTube channel and check out my playlist on preparing for the PL300 exam. Check out the code in the description, prag.works forward slash Angelica40 to get a discount to our on-demand learning platform. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. I will see you next time.